friends! Welcome to my kitchen! Today I'm going to show you how to bake an apple pie from scratch. I'm using Paula Dean's recipe from her Southern Cooking Bible. Let's get started! preheated my oven to 375 degrees, so go ahead and do that now if you haven't done it. Paula Dean's recipe calls for you making and baking your own pie crust. I didn't want to do that, so I just bought a pie crust and the top of the pie crust from the freezer and the fridge section at the grocery store. If you want to bake your own pie crust, you're welcome to do so. Just look up Paula Dean's apple pie recipe. Let's get started with our filling. As you can see, I've already peeled a few of my apples, so I'm gonna get started on showing you guys how to peel and cut the rest. I'm going to be using an apple peeler and a knife today, so make sure that if you use these, you're being very careful. So if you're a kid and you need help or just don't feel comfortable using these tools, by all means, ask a parent or a grandparent or an older sibling to help you out. Because trust me, you don't want to get hurt. One tip to use when you're using the peeler is to go away from you. Don't ever peel it this way. That's kind of more likely how you're going to get hurt. So just go away from your body. When I was a kid, my parents took me and my siblings every fall to this place in Virginia, where we lived, called Carter Mountain Orchard. And I loved going there. Every year we would pick apples and have some of the best apple cider donuts. And yes, I'm biased. I think Carter Mountain's apple cider donuts are the best. One down. And we'd also get some hot apple cider maybe take some pictures by the pumpkins, maybe get a pumpkin. And those are just some really fond memories that I have growing up. So whenever I see an apple or it turns fall, that's what I think of. We're gonna move all of these apple peelings out of the way. And now we're gonna switch over to our knife. Again, if you are little and you don't feel comfortable or probably shouldn't be using these tools, make sure you ask a parent for help. We're going to go ahead and cut the apples. I don't cut them too big or too small. This is about the size. Maybe a little smaller. the more little tiny apples you get when you cut them up. So use as many or as few as you like. All right, so I have finished cutting and peeling all of my apples and I put them in my mixing bowl. So go ahead and do that now. Now I'm going to add the brown sugar. We need three quarters of a cup. Go ahead and pour that in. And now we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. So tablespoon number one, pour it right in the bowl. And now we're gonna do tablespoon number two. And three. There's a lot of math in cooking. Now we're going to add our spices. So we are going to use two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So here's one, one teaspoon. And two teaspoons. 
Now we need two teaspoons of nutmeg. It smells so good. So I couldn't get all of my nutmeg out <laughs> into the mixing spoon, so we're just gonna throw some in right into the bowl. Now we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. teaspoon of ground ginger. There we go, right into the bowl. And last but not least, we need just a pinch of salt. So I literally am just gonna pour a little bit into my hand, take it and go pinch, pinch of salt. So now I'm just going to mix all of this together. Make sure you get all the flour, all those wonderful, beautiful spices onto every single apple. If you would like to use your hands, you're welcome to do so, because if it ain't messy, it ain't right. So go ahead. I wanna give a special shout out to the Schultz family for giving me this awesome spatula. So thank you guys. All right, as you can see, just about every single apple has all of those beautiful, mm, yummy, good smelling spices on it. So we are going to go ahead now and put it into our pie crust. All right, so now I have my pie crust, the one from the frozen section, and we're going to fill it with our apples. So everything that's in this bowl is going to go into the crust. left and that's okay because I'm gonna save them and maybe make another apple pie later. If you have any left, you can do the same. If not, you are welcome to fill your pie as much as you want. Now, here comes the really fun part. I have taken some of my dough out of my pie crust box and we're going to move our pie out of the way and make a lot of fun with this. So again, take your knife or scissors or let your parent do it and open up that pie crust. And we are going to roll it out onto the cooking, onto the cutting board. That's silly me. You have some options. You can either leave the pie crust like this and just put it over your pie, or you can get really creative like we're about to do. We're gonna create what's called lattice. So we'll take our knife and we're going to cut lines into our dough. So you can make them as big and wide as you want, like I did, or you can make them as thin or as small as you want. Doesn't matter, but we wanna make sure that we're cutting the entire dough. So that one was pretty thick, as you can see. I'm gonna do the next one just a little thinner. because this is where, how we're gonna make our lattice work. And I'm sure there's probably a smarter, easier way than the way I'm doing it. And if you figure that out, great. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm starting 
starting off by doing the lines across the pie first. All right? If parts of your dough go over the pie crust, that's okay. We're gonna cut them off later. Now, I'm going to weave my dough in between these. If you just wanna place them on, that's perfectly fine. Do it however you want. But I'm gonna start by picking up this first piece, placing it down, and every other piece I'm going to go under horizontally. All right, so we're skipping one. We're going under, skipping one, going under, all right? One part is done. Let's do the same thing. Pick it up, go under. Pick it up, <coughs> that's my dog. And go under. If it's not perfect, that's okay. You know, God made us all different and so our pies can look different too. What matters is that you're putting love into this and you're working hard on it. show you one more time. We pick one up, we go under, we skip one, we pick up the third, we go under, skip, go under, skip, go under. So this is what it's starting to look like. It doesn't look pretty great right now, but trust me, it's will. I'm gonna finish up the rest and then I'll be right back to show you what the finished product looks like. As you can see, the lattice work has been finished. It doesn't look amazing right now, but trust me, it will. So you see these end pieces? I'm just gonna pinch them off. You're welcome to cut them if you'd like. And then I'm just going to pinch them onto the dough, onto the crust, excuse me. See that? Pretty simple. I'm sure our professional bakers <laughs> might look at this and say, hmm, not the best way to go about doing it. But hey, I'm not a professional baker. So it's just a pinch, cut it off, and just like that. All right, friends, we have one final thing to do before we put this beautiful pie in the oven. We are going to put a little bit of milk onto our pie. Now, if you have a brush, I highly recommend using a brush. I don't own one. So I just put a little bit of milk into one of my tablespoons and I washed my hands, I promise. I'm just gonna put a little bit of milk throughout the pie. This is gonna give it a little bit of golden texture to it. I am making a mess. Again, if you have a brush, I highly recommend you use it. If you don't, wash your hands and use your fingers. All right. Now it's really shiny. We're gonna add just a little bit more cinnamon and just sprinkle it all over the top. Not too much, because you already have some cinnamon in the pie. We just wanna make it Okay friends, I have my pie, and now we're going to put it into the oven. Again, we are preheated to 375 degrees. And let's go ahead and put our pie into the oven, and we're going to bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. Well, it's time to take the apple pie out of the oven. Beautiful. And that, guys, is how you bake an apple pie from scratch. Thanks so much for baking with me today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you want to do another baking lesson in the future, let me know. I'd love to do one. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your pie. God bless.